Hello. Char- Hello, Charlie. Hey, Dad. How are you? Pretty good. I'm I'm sitting in front of the Baumgartner Auto Tag Agency on Northwest 36th Street, and I was planning on going in now to register the car. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Uh, are you going to be back at the house before 4? Yes. Okay. Call me because I'm going to tell you to, how to sell some of the shares of that cool that you bought the other day. Okay. Because basically some news came out today that's pushing the stock higher. Um, but my friend thinks it's going to you know, take some profits when it goes higher, and then you could always buy it when it dips down again. And then you'll at least you'll make some money off of it going higher today. You'll make like two thousand dollars. Oh, good. Okay. I and can... you, yeah, and then, and then, but he thinks my friend thinks it'll go to like at least a buck thirty-five, a buck fifty, but it's going to go back down after it goes up today. It's going to go back down, and then it'll go up again. So he's like, why uh-huh. don't you just? So he's like, Charlie, why don't you just? I'll tell you at what points to sell it today, and then when it goes back down, pick some up, and then you'll enjoy the ride up again. Okay. Um, and you'll make like about two thousand dollars or so eighteen hundred two thousand roughly that's great so it's up it's up almost eight percent today yeah I, you know i have my doubts about this car they really screwed up what happened darren didn't darren sold the car to ryan and ryan no, uh no, ryan, ryan sold it to darren but darren said when he went to the when he went to the tag agency they just handled it so it wasn't an issue the VIN, okay. the, as long as the vin number is correct that's, that's all they care about Okay. Yeah, the VIN number is correct. Changing. Yeah, you said the other part that wasn't. He said, "Don't bring it to their attention, but let them deal with it. Just go in a tag agency and pay them. It's worth the seventy-five bucks or whatever they charge to take care of it." Yeah, they also charge the tax. The um, yeah. You know, yeah. The, well, yeah, because they have to go in there and pay the tax for you. Yeah, seven percent. You and you want a license plate and a tag. Yeah, I need a license plate. Yeah, yeah, so, and you, yeah, I'll get. I'll do. Yeah, I'm sorry. So one one thing that Jerry taught me is one of the things you taught me is when you get pulled over by a cop, you tell him you work at Broward General and you'll always get out of it. So this yeah. morning I'm driving in the HOV lane with limo tint on my car. I get pulled over by FHP without a driver's license. Oh, sweet. And I got let off with a warning because I worked at Broward General. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Uh, what car were you driving? Mercedes. Okay. You had no driver's but, license with well, you? Well, what had happened when I took the boat out on Sunday, I took my, I didn't take my wallet. I just took a credit card and my driver's license and jumped on the boat. So I, like, I was out there. I'm like, here, Clint, hold on to this because I didn't want it falling out of my pockets. And he had like a, a zipper on his pocket. So I never got my driver's license back. Dang. It's not a big deal. I got let off with a warning. I said, I said listen, I'm, I work at Broward General. I'm running late. And he, let, and he ran everything. He's like, let me go. Okay. When are you getting your license back? Tonight. That's okay, what I do it last night. I just got home so late. Yeah. All right. But I was Where, like, are you know, working? Are you working yeah, today? Yeah, I've got 20 minutes to eat lunch and get back to work. Okay. So call me Call me later, but the stock's up like 8% today. I thought you'd be happy. Oh, great. Oh, I'm very happy. Yeah, so you just made, you know, eight, I don't know, you make like 1500 or a little okay. more. Okay. For sure. Okay. So, I always feel 1500 is more than I had, you know, uh, yesterday. Yeah. So that's yeah. the way I look at it. Well, it's, listen, it's, it's, always, it's, always, it's always more comforting to buy stock when you know what's going to happen before you buy it. Yeah, well, that's how these funny stocks have been at the operate. Well, it's, there's, a, there's, a, well put it this way, there's a very small group of people who know what's going on before it happens. The rest are just mm-hmm. following their scan. They call scanners, and they uh-huh. pick up the trends, and they – and it shows the activity, and they try to get in and get out, and it's all computerized. Yeah. So some people actually know, you know, when you know news that's going to happen before that comes out, it's a whole different ball of wax. Uh-huh. All right. Well, you know what? Let me let me get this uh, car registered with you for you at your address, uh, and then I'll. Um... All right. I'll call me later. Okay. All right. Love you. Bye.